الإصلاح في أمة جدي رسول الله. What the unity in the Ummah of my grandfather رسول الله. We have some disgraceful representatives of our madhab on YouTube at the moment. Honestly. And no one speaks out. And may Allah lengthen the life of Sayyid Ali Sistani and Sayyid Ali Khamenei for their stand when they stood against members of their own religion who on YouTube curse the personalities of other, other schools in Islam. Imam Zain al-Abideen in Sham says the second aim of a majlis is what? Is to bring reform and unity in the ummah, not to break the ummah. On YouTube today, you'll find people dressed like clerics on YouTube hiding in a house somewhere in London where nobody can see them. They'll sit there and they'll send curses on personalities revered by others in Islam. I may disagree with those personalities. It doesn't mean I talk offensively about them. Why, someone says, because when I talk offensively, there may be a member of my madhab in Para Chinar who gets executed because of me. Because of me, not because of you. In Para Chinar, near Peshawar, do you know how many people have been, their bodies mutilated? Because of who? Because of others or because of our own lectures? Lectures of Zain al Abidin Sham, he said, Oh Yazid, the second aim of this majlis is I bring unity in this ummah, not disunity. Whereas today, when they speak with their big mouths, they're causing a killing of someone in Parachinar, a killing of someone in Bahrain, a killing of someone in Saudi Arabia, and actual killing in Iraq, where because of a foul mouth Mawlana giving a majlis, you found destroying the etiquette of Zain al Abidin. A bomb blast happened in Iraq where they said purposely that Mawlana in London, the filthy language that he uses, we will therefore come and kill you. Brothers, the second aim was what? Unity or disunity? Al Muhammad said, don't compromise your beliefs. Have your beliefs, but be tolerant of others' beliefs. Isn't it? Be tolerant. Another Muslim may not have read the books I've read. So how could I judge them? Let me give them the books and then let's discuss. The Quran says, وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَارَقُوا Hold on to the rope of Allah, all of you together, and do not disunite.